I was first hired by CINT long, long ago in 1997 as a developer. And after that, I have been through uh, many different uh, initiatives within the company, always with uh, a sort of entrepreneur role. Uh, when I joined, I am employee number 12, as a matter of fact. Wow. And today we have about 1,700 people. So you can imagine the kind of growth that we have been through. Um, and I've always been involved in some of the initiatives that nobody, nobody else had done before within the company. Um, so I actually started several, several things. Um, and in 2006, I was relocated to the U.S. to set up our operation, our first international subsidiary. CINT has an ambition to be a global company. We are today a global company already, but we, we want to be more uh, a global. We're, we're headquartered in Brazil. I am originally from Brazil, despite the Italian name. Uh, and, and then for seven years, I, I uh, run the business in the U.S., and now I'm responsible for, for Europe aspect and, and innovation. Um, in, in the U.S., some clients started, uh, uh, um, actually one client started requesting from us to develop a project for them in Agile, using Agile, which is something that we have never used before. And I was uh, closely watching that as it, it was a, a U.S. client. We did that. Uh, we we had we, we used to be very uh, very strong, you know, like the king of methodologies. We were very good at uh, other methodologies, and uh, the first agile project was a total failure. I remember that very well. It was a lot of resistance uh, from our teams, and and for several different set factors, it was a failure. But then we had more clients, and and uh, fortunately, some uh, clients that already had some experience with that. So uh, we started seeing the results, but we noticed that there was something missing in Agile. You can deliver software fast, you can have very short cycles of iteration, you can get feedback quickly, but you may be just producing waste very quickly. So let's say you are producing waste in a very effective way. <laughs> doing the wrong thing faster. Exactly, doing the wrong thing faster. So we noticed that we needed something else. So, uh, and, and that's uh, when we got uh, in contact with Lean. Uh, that was around 2008, I think, 2007. Um, and we started adding practices like uh, value engineering. We started using Lean principles, uh, uh, which is, uh, in my opinion, the most important thing is really to have that uh, background on what is really important and, and that uh, 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 mindset rather than adopting lean methods or, or tools. It's really having that mindset, understanding the principles and trying to apply them uh, in a way that may be unique, may not be a copy of what Toyota does. It may be something really unique to your company, but if you understand the principles, then you can, you can apply that correctly. And, and that's uh, how we started. That's how my journey uh, into lean started. Since then, we have uh, increased adoption a lot. And we started with our software development teams, uh, our production, uh, since we are uh, an application development uh, uh, provider. And we expanded that to all areas of the company, HR, marketing, finance, everything, and then strategic planning. So it has been a long journey. We have a lot to learn, but we are having a lot of fun and we are seeing the results. Yeah. Uh, well, that's an interesting question. The, I, uh, what happens when you start adopting a, uh, the lean approach or, or lean management? Uh, first of all, it's a very strong, uh, this, this idea that you have to go and see, go to the Gamba and, and really not see yourself as, as a top executive flying above what happens in the field. Uh, it brings the idea of power to the edge, empowering the front line, and really uh, uh, allowing the decisions to be made uh, by those who are in contact with, with clients directly. Uh, and, and of course, we are in contact with clients uh, all the time as well. So uh, it, it brought us a, a, a discipline, it brought us a way of thinking, and it brought us uh, uh, this discipline of, of check and adapt uh, constantly because uh, executive, all, every executive in the world creates strategies. 
the difficult thing is to really follow through and, and see if the strategies that were thought of are really being successful or if there's something, maybe some hypotheses were wrong, maybe that was not the right thing to do. And you need to check all the time and you, you may need to adjust uh, during the, during the, 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 the course of, uh, of the strategy implementation. So this discipline, this process, and this idea that um, it's okay if it's, uh, I mean, it's, it's, it's uh, uh, expected that some uh, KPIs will not be green since the beginning. You need to work very hard to bring something from, from red to green. I think that most executives in the, let's say, non-lean world uh, are, 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 they always want to see a, a rosy world and we know that it's not how it works and, and you need to see the brutal facts, uh, face it and, uh, and deal with, with a reality that sometimes is not that rosy. IT services is a people business basically as, as uh, many other services industries. And uh, it's, uh, it's an industry where people with very um, specialized knowledge um, need to deliver something of value to, to their clients. And, uh, the, and what we say is that we develop people before we develop software. And this is really very important because if you look at our mission, uh, you're going to see that our, our mission, uh, the, the idea that it carries out is that we, we develop the, these people that are highly uh, talented so that they can use their talents to figure out how to deliver value to, to our clients. So it has a message of empowerment, as I, as I said before. So this whole idea of, of having high performance teams rather than teams that just, uh, uh, let's say, take orders and, 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 and automatically do something uh, on their computers, uh, we, we reject this idea of outsourcing, which is a, a commoditized vision of outsourcing. Uh, we see our job as creating something of significant value to our clients, and this makes uh, the whole difference. Uh, so Lean helps us to identify problems, to have this problem-solving mentality, to establish a culture among our teams, because as it's a, it is a people business. Uh, your people, your teams, they need to have they, they need to have certain behaviors. They need to uh, 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 work uh, uh, according to a certain uh, corporate culture, business culture that will yield the best results. So things like uh, Kaizen, continuous improvement, uh, problem solving, uh, Genchi Genbutsu, these things are part of our culture. All of our employees know about it. This is how they are evaluated. They know that they are supposed to follow these, uh, uh, these principles or, or these uh, behaviors. Um, and, and that's how we, we build powerful teams that are constantly looking for uh, what, what is the value that the client is looking for, uh, ways to minimize waste, um, a problem-solving attitude and, and all that. It's very easy to, in, in an IT services company, to just have, uh, I would say, non-enthusiastic teams. And you don't see that at CINT, at least we, we do not expect that to happen. Uh, in our teams and when we notice that something like that is happening we know that there's something wrong and we need to act. It's not that everything, as I said, it's not that everything works fine all the time. We, we do notice the problems and then we act upon them and, and then we, we find solutions. So Disrupt is, is a very recent initiative that we we began uh, in, in uh, uh, you know, this year only, in, in February. And the whole purpose of this is to create a whole new economic engine for CINT. We see in the future that uh, uh, our, our growth and our source of uh, profit will come from somewhere that uh, uh, doesn't, something that doesn't exist today.
as it happens in many, many industries. So we have seen disruption in many, many different industries. And, and we see that this is going to happen as well in our industry. And actually, we want to cause it, not to be a victim of it. So uh, the, the idea of Disrupt is really to lead the company to, towards this uh, disruptive growth. Uh, and and uh, at the core of the mission is to identify opportunities to um, deliver 10 times more value to our clients at one-tenth of the cost. So uh, we're, we're talking about creating products that our clients can, can use that deliver a kind of value that doesn't exist today. And, and of course, it's not an easy task. It's very daunting, and we don't know we didn't know even where to start. So, uh, first of all, uh, the, the lean, uh, um, lean processes that we use, Hoshin Kenry for, for strategic planning, helps us to see that coming, see the need for that. It helps us to have the cl clarity that uh, this kind of disruptive growth is part of our true north. That's, that's fundamental because otherwise you may not even see that happening. Um, Second, uh, we, we of course, uh, and I'm going to talk about this uh, today, uh, we have our, our um, PDCA cycles of improvement uh, in, in our mainstream business. But what we notice is actually that traditional, I would say traditional, traditional lean process uh, for this kind of innovation is actually very limited. And we, we had to look at other things, and we looked at the, the Lean Startup that everybody's talking about, they're using that. Uh, we also thought that this was not enough. Uh, so we looked at other things, and I'm going to uh, describe that uh, today. Uh, to be honest, this is, is uh, an area where uh, I personally believe that the Lean community needs to, to work on uh, a little more and, and create more processes and, and tools to help uh, companies in this kind of challenge of creating uh, a disruptive innovation. There is something uh, out there, but uh, hopefully we can contribute in, uh, uh, with creating something more complete for, for, uh, for us and for other companies as well. I think that this is an area that uh, still uh, has a lot of room for, for, for improvement. Um, uh, in, in the Lean community and, and, and the Lean toolbox, let's say. Yeah, it's a, a very interesting uh, conference. Uh, we see people here. I was very, uh, very glad, very honored to, to, uh, to see a presentation and talk, speak with, with Dan. Uh, author of many books that, I, that we have read uh, years ago and still references uh, in our work. So uh, that's wonderful. Uh, I also loved uh, Steve Bell's uh, 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 talk. Uh, yesterday it, it made make us uh, think about uh, uh, what we have done and, and what, is, what is ahead. Um, and there were many other talks. Uh, this one that we just saw from, from uh, uh, Tanaka Sen was very, very interesting, and you can see what is lean at heart. It's, it's really, it, it's really amazing. It's kind of shocking, I have to admit. It's very good to see it. Uh, I would say, at its root. So, so we, we bring that. Uh, I'll bring that uh, idea back. It's it's much more vivid than just reading a book. So so I enjoyed that experience a lot. And uh, what I see, one takeaway, uh, I've been to several uh, Agile conferences and, and, and talking with people in, in the Agile community. Last week in Paris, I spoke at a Scrum Gathering event, and they talk about Lean and, and all that. But honestly, I think there is, there is a lot of confusion. We had some talks about that. I think that uh, Lean is so much broader than, than, than Agile, uh, but it's still people tend to simplify things. Uh, I, I, I hope that we have more of these Lean events that help uh, clarify what is Lean IT in fact, or how Lean principles can be applied to IT. It's not just Lean software development, it's, it's a lot more than that. Um, and I hope that people 
uh, don't fall into the temptation of simplifying things and, and considering that Agile is synonym for, for Lean. It's not. So uh, it, was, it was gratifying to see that. I hope we, we, have, that, uh, we have this in, in several other locations. I hope we, uh, we, we can have that in, in Brazil as well sometime soon. Uh, and it's been a, a real pleasure to, to be here. Thank you. Thank you.